<laughs> I tried to send it that way and it came back. Hold on. This is what I need to do. <laughs> Get out of my shot. Okay. Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey. And my name is Becky. And we are the Sorry Girls. And welcome back to Style Selected. This is a makeover show where Kelsey and I come up with different designs for a room and the owner of the room has to decide which design they like the best. And we are so grateful that this video is sponsored by Crayola, so make sure you stay tuned to see us do some DIYs with their new Take Note line. Today, we are making over Emily's room. She's a 16 year old girl who's going back to high school in the fall. Emily's mom reached out to us because Emily's mom's getting married this year and she's having a very exciting summer, but she wants to make sure Emily's summer is just as exciting. So it's time to bring in Emily. Okay. Emily! Come on in. Hi, Hi Emily. We're so excited to do your room because this is like a brand, this is a brand new room, brand new house for you guys. Yeah. But I'm sure this isn't exactly how you want it. So maybe no. tell us your dream style and what you'd love to see in this room. Well, I personally really want like a really comfortable, kind of minimalist, mm -hmm. you know, keep it with like a lot of neutral colors, black, white, mm -hmm. gray. Something that, you know, can like withstand time because, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna be in this house for quite a while, you yeah. know, after high school, <laughs> college. Something that will, you know. Grow with you, right? Grow with me, exactly. I love yeah, that. That's yeah. great. Because when I was, like maybe not 16, <laughs> but when I was definitely like 14, I painted my room hot pink and I definitely regret it. Yes, yeah. mine was yeah. like bright yellow. So I get where you're coming from, it was very mm -hmm. smart. I love this ship lab, like this is so beautiful. But yeah. what do you think about the blue? Well, I initially wanted the color to be a little more gray, mm -hmm. but as you can see, it came out just kind of straight blue. Grays <laughs> are really hard, They're like really yeah. hard. They kick so easy, purple, gray, green, so. Exactly. Okay, we can make this, because yeah, this isn't quite neutral right now. And then obviously you are going back to school, you're still in school, so I'm assuming you need some places to do work, to study. Exactly. I don't really have a desk at all at the moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so with all that in mind, I think Kelsey and I will go and think up some designs mm -hmm. for this space. We'll show them to you in a second. Okay, All right. sounds great. See sounds soon. good. Okay, we have some plans to show you. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what you guys came up with. This I'm really excited too. All right, so for my design, I'm going to do some darker gray walls as well as keep that beautiful white shiplap. I'm going to move her bed and put it against the shiplap wall so that it really opens up the space when she walks in. I'm going to add a chair for another chill out area because we can't have too many areas to sit down, as well as putting her mirror beside her door. Underneath her window, I wanna put her desk and this can be her study space or where she does her makeup. I'm gonna bring everything together with an area rug as well as some plants. And on that empty wall across from the bed, I wanna do a gallery wall because I think that's the best thing to do with a blank wall is just make a gallery wall out of it. Beautiful. And of course, we can't forget some lighting to add to the cozy factor. Okay, well let me show you my plan. All right, so my plan for Emily's room involves keeping her bed on that back wall that it's currently on. I want to make her a custom headboard that goes behind that kind of mimics the shiplap on the other wall to give the whole room a cohesive feel. I also want to give the headboard a custom touch by adding some sconces onto the actual headboard to act as lights on either side of the bed. I want to do two little nightstands with a big fluffy circle rug underneath. Since she's going back to school, I want to make sure she has a huge study space to work in. To do this, I want to give her two desks pushed together all along that shiplap wall to create a giant long desk for her to work on. I also wanna make sure she has a chill out area, so I wanna do a fluffy tufted bench under her window, topped with lots of pillows and blankets to make it really cozy and relaxing for her. I'm gonna put a little laptop table there so she can get a little creative if she wants as well. On either side of the window, I wanna give her some long drapey white curtains to really make that wall look big and open. She mentioned she liked gray, so I wanna do a nice really light gray on all three of the walls. Since she's already got that mirror, I want to place it on the back wall beside the closet so she can check out her outfits when she's getting ready. Plus, mirrors are just amazing and making spaces feel big. Um, I really like this one a lot because there's a lot of room uh, not only to study but also to do my makeup. Mm -hmm. You know, I like the bench near the window. I also like where my <laughs> bed is right now. Ultimately, I think I like this plan more. Really? Right. Yeah. Ah! 
the circular rug, it's really nice, and I think it's definitely more my style. Okay, I'm really excited to bring this to life, but we want to keep it a surprise, so I think we'll say bye to you now, and then next time we see you, it'll be to show you your new room. Okay, I'm so excited to see what the end result is. Okay, let's do it. All let's right. Go. I am so happy that you chose my design. I feel like this space has so much potential and I cannot wait to get started on this room. My design didn't get chosen, but I am okay with that because I'm so excited about Becky's design and I can't wait to get started. All right, it's time to go shopping, so I'm gonna let Kelsey hit up the hardware store or the thrift store and Claire and I are gonna go furniture shopping. Okay, now we're back from shopping and we have all of the supplies. I want to get started on making that custom DIY headboard. So this headboard is made from five pieces of one by eight by six feet long pine board. And then I'm going to use some thinner plywood pieces across the back to hold all of the boards in place. The plan is to attach the headboard to the wall with some D-rings, so I'm screwing in two on either piece of the plywood closer to the top of the headboard. The last step is adding on a nice trim. For this, I'm using 1x2 white cedar and cutting three pieces to fit the sides and the top of the headboard. I'm using some wood screws and screwing in through the back to hold the trim in place. Ooh! Yeah! And that took like actually no time to do. Okay. All the shopping and DIYs are complete and tomorrow we're gonna get started first thing on painting Emily's room. A real gray, because whatever she painted it is not gray, even though she wanted gray. It's cray cray. It's cray gray. Okay, I'm ready to do a room. Me too, I am. So I, I think the bed's just kind of in the way because mm -hmm. we're painting most of these walls. We're gonna leave this one obviously because it's so beautiful. Yeah. So we'll move the bed. Yeah, and then I think just get to painting. Luckily there's not too much stuff to move. I know, bless. Cut back to Adeline's room. <laughs> Okay, okay. Just slide it this way, I guess. Is this one of those ones that's on wheels? Oh my god, it is on wheels. Bless. Rolling, rolling, rolling across the room. Okay. White bed sheets, though, that helps the theme. Beautiful. She knows, she's on theme already. It's like, I'm starting to do it, but I need your help. All right, so let's correct her I can't, gray. I can't believe she wanted to do gray and then this is what happened. This is like the moral of the story is like grays are really hard. Like I see people and they're like, I painted my house gray. I'm like, you painted your house purple. Or they're like, I painted my house gray. I'm like, you painted your house green. Like they're so hard. So I hope test your colors, which we didn't do. Well, let's see what we picked. I did a lot of research on like, let's find the right gray, you know? Oh, wait, I can't see it. Ooh. Oh, that's light. So that's light, but when if I know anything about paint, so it dries dark. Is it gonna look less white than that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I like that. Always test your colors <laughs> with your finger. <laughs> I don't know if that's all. <laughs> okay, let's get to painting. Woohoo! Ooh! It is pretty. I like it. Yeah, I'm into this. Sorry. <laughs> Just reassuring myself one more time. Proud pat on the shoulder. Proud pat. I did good. I picked a good gray. almost done cutting this whole wall, but I mean, you want to keep rollering and I can paint that headboard? Mm -hmm. It's gonna look so good when it matches this. It will. <sighs> this gray color is looking so, so good on the walls, but I'm gonna leave Kelsey to finish that job since I know she can nail it. 
I'm gonna go outside and start painting that DIY headboard that I made yesterday. Oh, hi, how's it going? Good, I have this painted, which is looking amazing. This is done painting too. I was wondering where the other backing was for my frame. <laughs> it's gonna be um, a DIY, which I guess we can get started now. I really wanted to make sure that Emily's room was A, stylish, and B, still really functional for someone that is still in high school. As you know, Crayola is our lovely sponsor for today's video, so I'm gonna be using their Take Note Dry Erase Paint to hack a minimalist picture frame into a dry erase whiteboard. To do this, I already removed the backing of this picture frame and painted it white. Next, I'm mixing together the dry erase paint according to the instructions in the box and painting it onto my white sheet. Once the paint has fully cured, it can be placed back in the frame and is ready to hang. That almost rhymed. While we wait for the headboard to dry, I'm going to get started on making the matching set to this whiteboard, which is making a cork board. So I'm just taking some peel and stick cork board and adding it to the back of a picture frame. I'm just doing a couple layers of this to make sure that it's thick enough to stick a pin into. This was so easy, and in the end, it looks so good, so chic. The paint is dry and the gray actually looks like gray, which is so much more difficult than I thought it would be. I am in love with how it turned out, so let's get those curtains hung. I feel like I'm such a surgeon. It's like scaffold, scaffold hammer, <laughs> plug, hammer. It's time to install our DIY headboard. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so close to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I should have pushed the bed out more, but no. <laughs> we want to make it difficult for ourselves. <gasps> Did you scratch my new headboard? Yep. Ian, no, I didn't. The bed scratched the new headboard. Yeah? It's just a little bit. The bottom. Ian. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, how did you do? <laughs> You're like, oh no! Oh, yes, <laughs> I said the bed scratch And I would have gotten away with it too, Ian. So the plan was to kind of have it like, um, almost all the way like to here, because I want it to be a tall headboard. So much wall space, and plus if we are doing sconces on it, then your head's like not right there. Yeah. So get it, get it tall. I think, try and get it, and then I'll tell you how it looks. your little D-ring forward. Yeah. So it catches, you know? Okay. Oh, did we do it? I'm on. <gasps> You're on? Yeah. Hell no, shut up. That's sick. <laughs> the headboard is looking so good. It's honestly too good to be true. Is it too good to be true? <laughs> That's so cute. Is it too high? Yeah, it's totally too high. You know what we did? Oh, I know what we did. We measure from the top, not from where the D-rings are. We are actually so stupid. Baby's first room makeover. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, okay. This is fixable. It is fixable. We just have to lower it and we can't lower it more than... <laughs> I literally laughed in my head because I'm like, Claire's literally gonna have to patch something with the paint even. <laughs> I hate that. I was so confident. I was so, it's like this is so easy, it's I know. so beautiful. Let's just buy her a bigger mattress. That's the solve right now. I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> Becky. There's totally no gap. She goes to sleep and all her pillows fall. Unless you move the D-rings up, Becky. Yeah. Yes, also that, yes. What's easier, doing new screw holes in the wall or new D-rings? I think new D-rings. Probably the D-rings is just how much space you get extra. 
Like, is it enough? Right. So it might only be that much. We'll take it off and measure, and then we'll sort this out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think that was a quick solve. I know they say third time's the charm, but I'm really hoping second time's the charm. I think so. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, I just want to push this back together so I can see it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, think. that's like perfect height. So that took a little bit more trial and error than we expected it to, but next up we're going to put some sconces onto this headboard to truly make it feel super customized. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, Amazon, bless. So my thought was, in the inspo photos I sent her, there was a headboard that had like sconces built in. Yeah. So we could do that, or they could go on the wall. Like this was kind of the thought, like right at the edge on the top. That's pretty cool. Wait, can I get the side tables? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we tuck away the cord. Mm-hmm. I think let's do that. first sconce install that you don't see the cord. Yeah. Big steps. Yay! <laughs> I'm always impressed when we do lights right even though we end up doing them right every time. I know, I actually love like all the overlapping. Uh huh. You could have been like, you go here, light goes here, headboard goes there, but this makes it feel like custom. Cause like, yeah. you can't just buy this. Mm -mm. But you can buy furniture. DIY baby! <laughs> I am so impressed with how that sconce install turned out. It really made that headboard come to life. So now the whole bedding area is looking amazing. It's time to move on to her serene study space. So let's bring in those desks. Wow. Giant desk who? Giant desk Emily. for the bowling ball. <laughs> it's a floor poof, floor poof. This looks so cute together. I'm so glad that these DIYs turned out amazingly. I think this looks like a magazine. It Just really does. saying. Our serene study space it actually is. Like a it's serene so study good. space, I know. So there's one final um, desk DIY I wanna do, and then I think we can move on to the next zone. Okay, cool. I'll let you take it away. Okay. So next I'm gonna be making this super pretty DIY desktop calendar using more of the Crayola Take Note line. I'm starting with six nine by 12 cardstock pieces cut in half to make 12 sheets. With a pencil, draw out a four inch by six inch rectangle on the lower half. Measure out five one inch ticks on the vertical line and seven half inch ticks on the horizontal line. Connect the ticks to make a light grid. We're gonna go over this grid with the felt tip pens, adding the numbers and the days of the week. You can erase the pencil lines after it with an eraser. Okay, now onto honestly the most exciting part of this DIY. Using the erasable highlighters, color in a section at the top with the highlighter side. Then using the eraser side, write the name of the month over top for this amazing effect. This is so insane, right? I am in love with this product so much. We all remember using Crayola as kids, but I love that they have this new line, which makes it so easy for us to use now as adults. So once all of the months are done, I'm now displaying it on this super cute mini easel. Okay, now that that's done, we can do the next area, which is a rest and recharge zone. Oh, I love this bench so much. This is cute. And we're gonna add a little bit of creativity. Now that the study space is complete, I'm going to start working on a relax and recharge area for Emily. With Crayola's new washable gel pens, I'm going to be personalizing her notebook. This cozy bench and mini table is a perfect bullet journaling spot. I'm also going to personalize some of her pots for her new plant friends. Literally, I think I've seen as many paint colors at like a paint store. There's so many good colors. Resilient rose, I want to use that color. Bravocado, like avocado, but Bravo. <laughs> when I'm done this, I hope that you say, Bravocado. So 
many good colors they won't fit in my, in my little color mug here. I'm using the Crayola permanent markers and I haven't colored like this in what feels like forever. It's so zen. I forgot how soothing it is and this definitely feels like Crayola but for adults. We're going for the organic look. Yeah. Absolutely. You need it in this room. Everything's so structured here. Exactly. I need a ruler that you can use on curved items. Like, I know that's a measuring tape but it's not really. I need like a like a snap bracelet ruler, like for curved items. The future. Trademarking that. Wow, that's so cute. Oh, this one's my fave. Thank but you. they're all my fave. I know, I think I kind of like this one. The color in this. This is great because it gives the room so much personality now with like the hand-drawn things. I know. She can keep going if she wants. Absolutely, we're gonna leave her with all of these. Okay, I think next up we can bring in the giant rug, which I'm so excited about because it's a huge circle. I think we'll bring a lot of like warmth and cozy Coes. to this room. Coz. Yeah. Coz. Okay, I'm gonna need help though because it's a big boy. Okay. So I know Emily was super excited about the circle rug, so I'm so happy that we got it for her. Now we just have to put it under the bed, which shouldn't be too hard. Oh my god, it's huge. <laughs> this is the biggest rug we've ever gotten somebody, I feel like. Possibly. Wait, don't drop it on me! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Where is it gonna go? Under the bed, mostly. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So, I feel like we have to like, like that. And then feed it under. Got it! Is it light? At least it's a circle, it's just like... Yeah, you can't really make it crooked. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's just like lift and pull and lift and pull. Okay, ready? Yeah, lift. Oh, the pulling. I literally don't think I can lift it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now I'm on this side. It's done. It looks great. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh my god. Definitely getting stuck up in here. Big rug is a big problem. All right, after multiple attempts and a little bit of help from our friend Claire, we were able to get this rug underneath the bed. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so fluffy. I'm here for it, but I'm not here for this. What is going on? <laughs> we are gonna definitely do something about this bed, but that can be done in the final touches. And right, let's go. Boom. little things. Ah, it looks so good! Hold oh. on, what? And we, we gotta get the future going. Yeah. It's good when she walks in the door. Do you think she wants eucalyptus or awakeness? Let's do it. <laughs> what does awake taste like or smell like? It smells like orange, I pre-smelled it. Oh. I think like a fresh eucalyptus. Okay, okay, okay. It goes with the vibe of like simple and greens. Mm, I love eucalyptus. What this is giving me right now. Okay, should we bring her in? Mm-hmm. Ah. Emily! Oh, you close your eyes! <laughs> Don't be getting crazy child. <laughs> crazy child. Okay, I'll lead you in. I'll lead you in. Why does it smell so good? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, I feel it. like we should do like a speech or something. I think we should give a countdown. That's the biggest one. <laughs> All right, a countdown in three, three two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What do you think? Oh my gosh, it looks like something from Pinterest. Ah! Like, That's the only compliment I ever need. So perfect. 
so, and clean and sleek. I love it. Uh, so over here we did like a serene study space for you for back to school mm -hmm. time. We DIY'd the whiteboard and the cork board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over here we have like a relaxed recharge as well as a little bit of creativity zone. Just another area where you can hang out. Mm -hmm. And then this headboard we custom made for you based off of Pinterest inspo, which I know you love. Literally. So the lights are all hooked up and they work on one switch, which is amazing. And then most of your bedding, I mean, you have the bed already, we just kind of jazzed it up a little bit. With the big circle rug that you wanted! Oh yeah, I love it. It's, it's amazing. I've also never had plants in my room. Well, we also got you a watering can, so you're going to have to water those. Because yeah. they are all real. Yep. Okay. <laughs> So, you love? I love it so much. It's so nice. Oh, thank you for letting us do it. It yes. was so fun. Good luck going back to school. I love Emily's new room. I think that it's kind of Pottery Barn vibes, which I don't think anybody has said, but it's so classic, and I think that she's going to love it for a very long time to come. I am so happy with how this room turned out. I feel like we really nailed the style she was going for, but we still were able to keep it young and youthful and perfect for back to school. And thank you again to Crayola and their new Take Note line for sponsoring this video and helping us out with some of the DIYs in this week's Style Selected episode. If you guys like this video, we have an entire playlist of more Style Selected episodes that you can watch, so check out the playlist up in the cards. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked today's video, make sure that you give it a like. And if you love it, sub it. Bye! Thanks guys for tuning into this week's episode. I appreciate you and I also appreciate this DIY by Thrift Goudis. This DIY was recreated from our 80s video where we turned some old 80s tech into succulent holders. Like what, but so cute, love it. Thanks for sharing and you can too using hashtag Sorry Girl Squad.